Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jade. And today we'll be talking about my baby gender reveal and how I decided to do it. So let's get into the video. So I decided to do a baby gender reveal. It's basically up to you if you want to do it or not. But we decided we were going to do it. And we wanted to do with people that we were very close to and we felt that are important to us. So we did invite them. They were supposed to be at my house, but because it was going to rain and my house is small, we decided to do it at my in-law's house because it's much bigger. And so how I decided to organize it, we decided to do a barbecue. So we bought hot dogs, plates, um, my mom and Felix's mom decided to make salads. My mom made dessert, which I will insert right here because it was very cute, the desserts. And yeah, everyone brought a little something to, to add to our, our little party. So it was kind of like a potluck that we decided to do. So we did decide to do balloons. And that was another thing. Um, where we went, they did have the gender reveal balloons where you can put, they put the glitter in it and then it pops. I will insert the video right here. And so, as you can see, we did pop it. It wasn't where we really wanted to pop it, and my boyfriend did want to end up shooting the balloons instead of actually popping them with a, a needle. But because it was very windy that day, we decided that we were going to pop it ourselves, so we each had a balloon to pop. And the glitter ended up going all over my boyfriend's face which was not very good but hilarious and it ended up being a little girl which was very fun yes yeah, so everyone was just around while we were popping the balloon and we it was just me and him which was really fun too i really liked it i liked doing it that way it was just cheaper too for both balloons it cost me six dollars with everything with that with the glitter i think it was like around like maybe I don't, I don't even think it came up to $10. I think it came up to like 8 or something dollars. So I feel like that's really worth it compared to a cake where we called. I'm sorry, my dog is eating food right now. But compared to the cake where I called, it was 100 and something dollars, which I thought personally was very ridiculous. So I decided that we were going to go with the balloons. But yeah, it was really fun. We took a lot of pictures. And I will insert pictures of what we decided to do for um, our baby which is an album I feel like I'm gonna do a video too about the album because it's like it's an idea I had which I watched OK Baby where she had um, on her last baby that she just had the recent one her third one she had a Polaroid camera and she decided to take Polaroids of everyone who came to the hospital so like that she has like a little book and I thought that was really cute, but for all the most important parts of like the baby's life. So I thought like for the gender reveal, the baby shower and stuff like that. So I bought this black, I don't have it with me, so it's kind of hard to explain. But I had this black, huge um, drawing book, it's called, that I did buy at the dollar store. It was $4 compared to all the drawing book stores. They're like around $20 or $30. This one cost me $4. And inside, it's all important pictures. So there's family pictures, all the ultrasound pictures. Um, there's the gender reveal pictures, and then there's the Polaroid where everyone signed their signed a the little cute thing beside it, and all. So I thought that was pretty adorable and pretty unique too that she gets to read what's gonna happen. And also, this. And also what was fun is at the entrance, I forgot to mention, is when we came in, there was balloons on the floor of, there's, we blew up balloons. We just bought one, and we bought two bags at the dollar store of balloons, and we blew all of them up, which was pink and blue, and we put them all over the floor, and then there was a little table with a sign, I'll insert the picture here so you kind of have an idea, with the sign that says, we're here for the sex baby Luna or baby Leo and that's how we decided 
like kind of a theme and my mom's desserts were pink and blue as you saw in the beginning so yeah that was basically how we decided to do our gender reveal our gender reveal and also at that time we announced who were going to be the godparents too and i did a little gift for them and anything i forgot to take a picture of the gifts but i bought them a huge bucket and each of them have di different colors so the godfather had red like my dress and then had a glass and then had three little shooters of alcohol and it says you are the godfather i'll insert the picture of the sign that i did and then for the godmother we bought her a cup that says fairy godmother on it i bought her some bath bombs and uh, oh and a little necklace of a star because both of the names are happen to do with space so we thought a star would be very like very cute for either one of them so we ended up doing that and her sign it says bippity boppity boo fate chose you to be my fairy godmother or every princess needs a fairy godmother and before giving it to them we decided to do a little speech of why it's important to us that they're the, the godma godparents and that what it means to us being a godparent and everything we did a little speech talking about that and yeah it didn't finish too late i think it finished around like we did it like 12 30 till 4 i think everyone had a lot of fun we had a lot of questions people were asking us about the baby and um yeah so that's basically how we decided to do our gender reveal party which i really wanted it to be simple and not over the top and uh, yeah and also the dress is something that i kept getting asked a lot i got it at forever 21 it's just a regular dress i'm not really um i don't have a stomach so for me i can fit in any dress i want still and so yeah and i did do the flower crowns i could interested i can do a video on how i did the flower crown the blue and pink i did end up basically i just went to the dollar store and bought basically everything because a lot of it came from there but i'm gonna wish you all a, have a magical day and see you all later bye Hey, bye, Pickle.